Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's that time of the year again when Hot Toys announces exclusive figures before the summer showcase. This year their showcase starts on July the 14th, which is next week. As for the exclusives, like last year, they have announced three figures. Neo from Matrix Resurrections, an holographic version of Iron Man Mark 85, that's the armor from Avengers Endgame, and Boba Fett's arena suit, it's from the Star Wars comics. I do have a lot of things to say about this choice of figures. First, Neo from the latest Matrix movie. Personally, I hate that franchise, but I do appreciate Hot Toys making figures other than Star Wars, Marvel and DC. I know there are collectors who want figures from other movies, so here's one. However, last year we had a Neon Tech Iron Man, and this year it's another Iron Man repaint. It's pretty lame, just why? We are still waiting for more Eternals figures. Hawkeye from the Hawkeye series, the two Spider-Man from No Way Home. I actually thought that one of the exclusives were going to be one of the Spider-Man or another Eternal figure. As for Star Wars, it is a repaint as well. Why last year we had a brand new figure. The armorer from The Mandalorian. That was so cool and quite unexpected. Because I had stopped hoping for them to make that figure. This year they could have given us an Obi-Wan Kenobi figure. He has many outfits in the series. And giving us one of his outfits as an exclusive. And then making another Obi-Wan figure as a no normal release would have been perfect. So that's quite disappointing. It's a cold start for this year's summer showcase. However, I'm still very excited about this event um, and I cannot wait to see which figures they will announce. Let's hope for great things to come. In the meantime, let's talk about these three exclusive figures. First, Neo. This is a pretty neat head sculpt. It does look like Keanu Reeves. Once again, great job from the head sculpting team at Hot Toys. And this is not the same head sculpt as the Cyberpunk figure. It has a different hair sculpture and the face isn't exactly the same. As for the outfit, it's quite simple, it's an old black outfit with a long coat that seems to have wires inside for posing. Always good to have that on a figure. It's all made of fabric so you will be able to give your figure some cool action poses. In terms of accessories, it comes with a big display base like the previous Neo figure. This time he also has a background of the Matrix. As usual, the figure has different hands, including a hand with blue pills and another one with a red pill. There is a pill bottle too. Uh, then you have bullet effects and a big transparent bullet effect. Uh, I think these are good accessories. Now let's talk about Iron Man. This is the third version of Mark 85 that we get, except this one is not in the movie, but it's an idea of Hot Toys. Since it's an holographic version, it's blue with some silver as well, but for an holographic version, the only part of the armor that is transparent is the chest piece. Uh, that's a bit weird. And yes, it is still a diecast figure, and it has an LED light-up feature. As for the accessories, he has a blue display base, because it is a holographic figure. Then he has different hands, the back cannon from the first Mark 85 figure, the two arms cannon from the second version, 
the hand blades from the second version as well and the blade from the additional accessories pack of Mark 50. Uh, this one is set for release during the summer in Hong Kong, so for Saito it will likely be a bit later. Finally, let's talk about Boba Fett. It is the figure from Return of the Jedi, but they painted it all in black to have that look from one of the comics. It's a chrome-plated armor with some battle scratches. And uh, honestly, I, I don't think it looks cool. Really, uh, for me it doesn't look cool. As for the accessories, he has a new Sandy display base. And that is the best thing about that figure. Uh, it may be fake, but the Sandy effect is so good. No more footprints. Let's hope we see that on all the figures. I really like this. Uh, he also has different hands, two blaster pistols, his iconic blaster rifle, and a techno blade. Uh, Boba Fett is actually already available in Hong Kong, so Sideshow will likely have it very soon. As for the prices, Neo is on pre-order for $250. It seems quite reasonable. Boba is at $255. More expensive than Neo, but no handscolds. That's something. And as for Iron Man, he's at $410. That's the price of a diecast figure, more or less. Uh, obviously, for me, this is a pass. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!